And uh, we are getting ready for high school football here tonight. The Blair Oaks Falcons getting ready to take on the Elden Mustangs. As we said, the Blair Oaks Falcons are the number one ranked team in the state of Missouri in Class 2. The Elden Mustangs coming in with a record of 3-3. Three and three. Falcons at 6-0 and oh. so far on the season. We're getting late in the season as it is. Uh, regular season ends in a couple of weeks. And as Ed said, this is the last time that uh, the, the Mustangs will play at home during the regular season, Ed. Yeah, the... Uh they will play next week in California, and then the next week after that, they'll play in Boonville for the Falcons. They will be back home next week in Wardsville to take on Hallsville, and they'll be on the road for their final regular season game of the year, and that will be in Southern Boone in Ashland. And we're getting ready here for the kickoff. Um, Elden will be kicking off to the Blair Oaks Falcons as the Falcons seem to be making a habit of taking the opening kickoff every week. And here comes the kick. And Cole Evers gets it underway. It is a ground ball that rolls past several Falcons and is finally picked up. Check it to number 22 on the carry for the Falcons. And that's the first time we've seen him this year. That's Austin Milgis, a freshman. Uh, picked it up and took it back. And on first down, they will pitch it wide to the right side and come up around the near side and down the sidelines. And that is Lachman. Lachman gets inside the 40. He lost the football, but the Falcons fall inside the 40 at the 37. And on fourth down, Dylan rolls to his left and he throws on the run over on the far sidelines. Has a man. This is so a 10 yard gain for Joey Wildy. Uh, first down. So and the pitch is wide to the left side. And going around the left side is Lackman. Lackman turns it up, cuts inside, gets inside the 10, stays on his feet and gets very close to the end zone. Gets inside the five to about the two yard line. That'll be enough for another first down. Wildy check out. We go to the wishbone and on first down they hand off to Kirk and Kirpin dives into the end zone for the touchdown. Brady Kirpin from two yards out. The big 215 pound fullback pounds it into the end zone. His first carry in a couple weeks. And uh, the Falcons uh, break on the scoreboard at 10.07 to go in the first quarter. Wafflin on to attempt the extra point. Snap is back, the ball is down. The kick is up, it's high, it's long, and it is good. 10.07 to play, first quarter. It is Blair Oaks 7 and Elden Nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We'll return to Victor Field in Elden after this timeout. But we are seeing Beanland instead, and uh, that uh, first pass was knocked down at the line of scrimmage, so it'll bring up a third down and long for the Elden Mustangs. They send four receivers wide to the left side. Not much of a wing tee here. Beanland throws into the backfield, and uh, the running back comes out with it. Gets out to about the 29-yard line. That was number eight, Michael Rugen, the junior. Here is the punch on, it. On, and he dropped oh, the snap. He dropped everything. And he dropped everything. The ball is still rolling around, and it is still rolling around. The Falcons are down and back at the 15-yard line. Oh, a disaster for the... Elden Mustang says that one. 10 for the 15. Lackman behind Hare. Hare wants to throw, looking towards the far corner. Throws it and has a man. This is going to be a touchdown, Falcons. Zach Pringer underneath. Catching the ball about the five yard line. Turned it up and goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Zach Pringer with a 15 yard touchdown catch. So it took Pringer a little while to get involved in the offense uh, this year. And uh, snap is back. The ball is down. The kick is up by Laughlin, and it is good. 8.31 to go, first quarter. The Blair Oaks Falcons lead the Elden Mustangs by the score of 14 to nothing on MidnoSportsOnline.com. On first down, Beadland hangs hands off to Shepard, and Shepard tries to pull some players forward, but he doesn't get very far. He maybe got a yard on the play. And that will bring up second down and nine. Well, you were... One of the keys I thought tonight would be that they would be ready to go. Eldon, that is, in this, in this big matchup. They're in the season, but they've been allowing 29 points per game on defense. And Beanland turns it to the right side, tries to turn up, and he's going nowhere. First man to hit him was Bryson Varner. As the big sophomore turned Beanland around and threw him down. And uh, no gain on the play. So here we go on third down and long. Falcons show blitz. They nearly jump and then get back. Beanland back to pass. He's hit as he throws, and he just gets rid of the football. Boy, that, that defender for the Falcons came through there in a hurry. That was Brady Kirkland who nearly took Beanland apart. 
Hare on first down is going to keep it himself. Around the near end he comes and down the middle of the field he goes and he jumps to the outside and here he goes to the 50, to the 43, 5, to the 40, cuts back to the 35 and is finally brought down. <laughs> so there's the Mustangs really come after you and they can cause the field to tilt. Wade open. Hare throws it down the middle of the field. Adam Hall's wide open. Touchdown, Falcons. Adam Hall down the seam that time. And Hare floats it in. And the Falcons take a 20 to nothing lead at the 557 mark of the second quarter. That was a 38 yard touchdown strike. Snap is back, the ball is up, it's an end over end kick. Look, let's go through the uprights and with 5.57 to go in the first quarter, it is now a 21 to nothing lead for the Blair Oaks Falcons. Midwest Sports Online continuing coverage of high school football. That would have been at uh, Lincoln University yeah. perhaps. And on a third and long, Beanland is going to try to run it around the right side after looking to pass initially and he gets hammered out of bounds. And it's Brady Cooperin who stands over him on the sidelines and uh, over about the 26 yard line and uh, that is all they get. No gain on the play again. We'll bring up a fourth down punting situation. Hare with Lackman behind him. Tandem receivers to the left, and on first down, they hand off to Lackman, and Lackman breaks a tackle, pull on the scrimmage, runs <laughs> over a man at the 40-yard line, and gets to the 35. He must think he, Lackman must think he gets extra points for trucking somebody like you do in Madden. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> he, just, he does not shy away from contact. And on second down. As Hare flips it out to the right side, and it's Hall again down the near sidelines, cuts back inside, now to the sidelines again, and he'll go into the end zone for the touchdown, Falcons. From 35 yards out, and it was a great catch and run by Hall, but I want to give Alec Weberg a little shout out because he, he made a great block to seal off a man over here on the near side, and that allowed Hall to make that inside cut back. Lawson on for the extra point, and uh, he nails it again. Four minutes and 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Blair Oaks 28 and Eldon nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We will return to Victor Field after this timeout. To get Eldon, get their offense going. Here comes a blitz. Here comes a blitz, and Copeland's in the backfield, and no, it is uh, Parker Bennett that time who shot the gap and runs Shepard down behind the line of scrimmage. Bennett nearly took the handoff. And that was a five-yard loss. Yeah. The, their own 31 and the Eldon 48. And here comes Hare around the near side, and he's got a lot of room. To the 30, to the 35, 40, 45, 50, cuts back, 40, and down inside Eldon territory at the 36-yard line. Two carries for Dylan Hare, and on first down, Dylan wants to throw, goes deep down the Good middle catch. again, and a nice catch over here on the sidelines, and that's Alec Weberg. And that's another first down. In the ball, first to quarter, 28 to nothing, Falcons. Hare quickly to the near side, Got caught, him. and turned up field, and Weberg sheds a tackle, goes into the end zone for the touchdown, Falcons. A little fancy dancing over on the sideline by Weberg as he caught it, and he spun to get away from the defender, and was able to stay in by and tiptoe into the end zone for another Falcon touchdown. Weberg so big, so strong, and he just shook off that defender. That pass had to be pinpoint, got it on the back shoulder. Snap back ball down, the kick is up, it's high, it's long, and it is good. A minute 15 to go, first quarter. Blair Oaks 35, Eldon nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We'll return to Victor Field in Eldon for more high school football. Turns and throws quickly down the near sidelines, and it is incomplete. Nearly caught. Nice pass that time, really, but Klosser did a good job on uh, the defense, and he had a Wardenburg that time, the kickoff return man. And Klosser and Wardenburg fought for the ball. The ball falls incomplete. As Beanland takes the snap, hands off to Shepard. He's in the backfield, and Bryson Varner is going to wrestle him down. Bryson Varner came through there like he had the uh, access codes. He was <laughs> Shepard took the handoff, and then Varner took Shepard. In the first quarter, thankfully for Eldon ends, and it was not a good one for the Eldon Mustangs, a good one for the Blair Oaks Falcons. Falcons lead after the end of one quarter, 35 to nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. From the 48-yard line, Klosser in motion back to the right side as Hare takes the snap. He's going to keep it himself on the quarterback. Look out, and there he goes. Dylan Hare 
Good night, Gracie. Hale with a blocker in front of him. We'll go into the end zone for the touchdown. Falcons. Dylan Hare in from 47 yards out, and the Falcons are back on the scoreboard at 11.47 to play in the second quarter. Hare gave a little bit of a pass fake, and then he was gone. The ground, Laughlin. Kicks the extra point. 11.47 to go, second quarter. It's Blair Oaks 42 and Eldon nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. Defense, and oh man, was that a hit. Holy mackerel. Weber coming up. That was the express. The slow freight caught in the express. Caught him in a hurry. Jamie Beckman on the catch. And Alec Green and nobody blocked Weber. Second, 17. Wow. Again, out to the left side. And another big hit by the oh, Falcons. Oh, across the football. The Falcons pick it up. That's holding Brand down the sideline, I believe. And it is going to be oh, oh. just short of the goal line. But they took him down at about the two. Holden Brand picked it up from the two-yard line. First and goal. And they give to Lackman. Lackman steps to his right, cuts into the end zone for the touchdown. Falcons. Hayden Lackman in from two yards out. And the Falcons increase their lead to 48 to six. The tie is long and it is good. At 10.34 to play, second quarter. Blair Oaks 49, Eldon 6 on MidmostSportsOnline.com. Yard line, Beanland the quarterback. Here comes the blitz, and Shepard's going to try to get around the far corner. And Whoa. the Falcons knock him down. Good tackle over there on the corner. That's Klosser. Klosser coming up from the corner position. Just took the young man's legs out from underneath him and lost a yard in the play. As Beanland takes the snap and rolls to his left, here comes the rush. He gets rid of it, and the Falcons do very well over on the sidelines. Alec Weber rushes, uh, gives the wide receiver the Bull rush out of bounds, and that was a Dakota Collins. Weber just kind of picked him up by the waist and just carried him out of bounds. Right wing to the left. And they hand off to Shepard, and he goes nowhere. Wrapped up and thrown down immediately on the play. Holding Brand over there on the far side to make the tackle. And that looked, uh, that was Christopher Shepard. And Shepard. Uh, and they hand to Shepard, and he's going to get through the line of scrimmage, but that's about it. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. Boy, the Falcons really surged on the defensive line. and nearly got Shepard in the backfield. He was able to squirt through the hole, and Jackson Marshall dropped him. But uh, no gain on the play. Jackson Marshall, 6'4", 245 pounds. He's in that uh, district in Class 1. On first down, Hare off play action, throws it to Hall. He's got Hall out in the uh, flat, out to the 10, to the 5, down the sidelines, pushed out of bounds, short of the goal line. They'll mark him out at the 3-yard line. Yeah, Varner is one of the wings on the left side. And they hand off to Varner. Bryson's into the end zone for the touchdown. Falcons. Bryson Varner from 3 yards out. Went over the right side of the Falcon offensive line, and there was no one home from the Elden defense. Snap is back. The ball is down. The kick is up. It's high. It's long, and it is good. 5.31 to play in the second quarter. Blair Oaks Falcons 56 and Elden 6 on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We'll return to Elden and Victor Field after this timeout. And on first down, the ball was dropped by Beanland. Beanland picks it up, and he's going to get nowhere. He lost it again, I think. Yeah. Beanland lost it in the pile, and I think the Falcons came up with it. The ball popped out and right into the hands. I think it was Chase Rackers who came up with it. And that will do it for the first half of play. All Blair Oaks. They lead the Eldon Mustangs by the score of 56 to six. On second down and four. Beelan turns, hands to Shepard, and Shepard, ooh, gets hit near the line of scrimmage and is surged back. The game down at Osage Beach in the, uh, between School of the Osage and Boonville there in the third quarter now, it's still School of the Osage. The folks up in center Missouri aren't having good good time either. Oh, here's a pass. 
last play that is uh, diagnosed by Pringer and wiped out. Uh, so the receiver caught it and caught uh, Pringer at the same time. Devin Hardy caught it, and he may ask to not have that thrown his way again. Pringer, the loss of a yard. Pringer not only tackled the receiver, he tackled the man trying to block him. That was a class three playing a class six. As Hare goes back to pass, looking, looking, looking. Got throws the ball deep down the field, and this pass is caught for the touchdown, Adam Hall! Touchdown, Falcons! 38 yards. What a rocket that was right on the money from Dylan Hare. 215 yards passing now. And that is the seventh catch by Hall in his third touchdown reception. And Laughlin kicks it through and with 6.34 to go in the third quarter. The Blair Oaks Falcons 63 and the Eldon Mustangs 6 on midmostsportsonline.com. As we start the fourth quarter, the Mustangs of Eldon have a fourth down and two and Beanland keeps it himself and I don't know if he got the first down. I think he's going to be about a yard short. Falcons got up and hit him hard. And they're going to say that Beanland was short. No, Laughlin on the tackle for the Falcons, and that gives the ball back to the Blair Oaks Falcons. Move Lucanati in motion across the formation, and they hand, nope, it's going to be Wyatt Meldrum running out of the quarterback position, and he is going to get the first down inside the 30 to the 25 yard line. That's actually the first first down of the. First down, of the half for the Falcons. Wyatt Meldrum, a junior, 5'8", 155 at quarterback. Tosses to the right side and uh, getting to the corner and putting his head down. It's Kligel and Kligel gets inside the 20, down to about the 19-yard line. Good run by Dylan Kligel there as uh, he'll pick up the better part of eight yards. I imagine he is a brother of Wyatt as uh, Jet Curick gets the uh, jet sweep and goes around the left side, and I think he's going to get the first down. I think he is. He does get the first down. A nice run by Jet. That's five yards. With Kliegel behind him on the delay, they hand to Kliegel. There goes Dylan in the secondary. Dylan spins towards the goal line. He's going to carry tacklers into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. 13 yards. Nice run by Dylan Kliegel. So Dylan needs some extended work tonight. He puts the ball in the end zone. The 160-pound sophomore in the front. Snap back ball down. The kick is up. It's high. It's long. And it is good. 8.42 to go. Fourth quarter. Blair Oaks 70. And Eldon 14 on this most 27. Pitch wide right to Davis. Davis gets to the corner and cuts it up to the 30 to the 25. And he's pushed out of bounds as uh, he makes it inside the 25 to the 23-yard line. And a gain of 20 yards and a first down. After this year, but we got a lot of good juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. Look oh, at look at Tyler Bax goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Touchdown, Falcons. As Bax goes in from six yards out. Well run option there, and the Falcons are back on the scoreboard. It's 76 to 22. Tyler Bax went to the man going across, pulled it back, and everybody went with the man running to the left. And Bax takes the snap and takes a knee, and 76 points. This is the most that they've had in quite a while. Yeah. And you've seen some 70-point halves, believe it or not, but uh, they're going to finish it out with a high point total here tonight. Final score, Blair Oaks 76 and Eldon 22 on midmostsportsonline.com.